Hello, my name's Mike. What I want to talk about today is the basic construction techniques used to build the Wordsworth Model Railway roundhouse. This is a cardboard kit and is constructed mainly from 2mm and 1mm card. The construction of this kit is very straightforward but there are a few points you need to bear in mind due to the geometry of this kit. The first thing I would like to point out is that the roof sections need to be placed in the right order. So let's look at this roof section. This left hand roof panel can only be fitted to the left hand bay. This right hand roof section can only be fitted to the right hand bay. This centre section, this is the universal piece. This is the piece that allows the kit to be extended to form a roundhouse with as many bays as you like. Now that you understand the need to watch which section the left roof goes on, the right roof goes on and the centre roof goes on, we are now ready to look at the interior construction. Right, here we are, we've got the roof sections removed, but what I want to do first is show you what you do to make the roof sections. This is the underside and this is the first section that you glue onto some one millimeter thick card. Once you've allowed this section to dry on the card, just cut round and remove from the card. The roof felt material is cut from the paper sheet and then is glued onto the equivalent section. Note that the upper roof section laps over and then round onto the underside and this is this bit here. You use this construction method for the left, right and centre roof panels. OK, let's move on to the roof supporting truss. Each bay requires two of these. Your first task is to cut out the item. And this is the low supporting strut that gives the brace more strength. Once you have freed this section from the card, cut out these apertures. Once you have the apertures cut out, score along this centre line. Once the score line has been made, fold the piece in half. Once folded, two halves are held in place with PVA glue. Once the two halves are dry you glue the strengthening strut to the base. This just stops the A-frame from flexing left to right. Now you have the A-frame constructed, two are required per bay. Note that the A-frame sits into a notch here and here and a similar notch is also at the front. OK, let's look at the basic roundhouse base structure. 
built as a modular kit. The left wall and right wall are identical. With the addition of these inner walls, these are the walls that allow the roundhouse to be expanded to create as many bays as required. The walls are constructed in two different ways. Note how the outside wall is slightly larger than this inside wall. When these two sections are placed back to back it forms this nice step joint. This same joint is mirrored on the front entrance wall and the rear walls. This is very important that the front inner wall is glued on the inside of this step joint. So you have a bare raw edge that actually runs down this front face and then is eventually covered using a brick paper wraparound strip. This same joint is applied to the back wall. It's very important that you get this joint and the rear wall joint correct otherwise the geometry of the kit will be thrown out. The inner wall as can be seen has a different construction. These two are of equal length. Note how the front sections sit against this inner wall. Once again a strip of paper hides the joint nicely. The two rear walls fit just like the front wall. To continue extending the roundhouse you need a front, a rear and an inner wall support. Once you reach your last bay, the end wall is put in place. Once again note the step joint. It's very important that this wall sits flush on the inside of the outside wall. Here is a very close up shot showing that corner and the notch that the roof A-frame sits in. Here is another look at the inner wall joint. Also note how the raw edge of these walkways are covered with some more brick paper. I hope during this small video I've given enough guidance for you to download and build your own very roundhouse kit. This three bay engine shed was constructed using one sheet of 2mm card purchased from the Hobbycraft shop. The price £1.59. The roof material and the A-frame material was constructed using 1mm card. One sheet was required at a price of £1.99 and that was purchased from the range. So by using only two sheets of card you can see a roundhouse kit can be built and made for under £5.